If you need a driver's logbook for your EV for business, you need to know where did you go and how far, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in the browser you can see all of this data. You can also manage a whole fleet of EVs and see where they charge at home or for business. Check them out in the link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is the Kia EV6 rear wheel drive, the newest version with the big battery, 80 kilowatt hours can be used. I'm doing a charging test right now, charged to 90% and then we're going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. It's now a bit warmer as it was this morning with the 130 test, it should be around 11-12 degrees. Uh, we're going to uh, drive here and arrive on the other side uh, the on the highway. The other uh, Iona T charger, we're going to drive it down to around 20%. We'll see how much range we get. This car has 20 inch winter tires on and a heat pump, of course. I am on my way, now I'm driving 113, started with 90%, heat is again at 22 degrees, driver only, it should be an auto, that is better, uh, no AC, come on, and the battery uh, cooling I guess was still on when I was driving, and now too, look, 800, 900 watt to cool the battery I guess after charging. When I started it even said 1.9 kilowatt of battery care. I don't know, I, I guess cooling, why would, should it heat up the battery after charging? Huh, but it charged at the end with 45, 50 kilowatt. Did it need so much cooling still? That's interesting. Huh, yeah. We drive with 110 now and we'll see uh, how the drive will be. It's going to be very busy. It's 11 degrees out there, very sunny. Maybe I even turn down the heat a tiny bit. Um, and like I said, I want to drive down to around 20%. I'm at 65%, used 25% of the battery, drove 91 kilometers, that would mean 364 kilometers of full range. The consumption is pretty high, 243 at 113. Yes, I have to pass a bit more, so accelerate 218 or something to pass cars because it's a bit busy, but not unbelievably busy. And my climate is not taking anything. The 3% for the battery care, that's still from the beginning. That's long done. So the high consumption, I'm a bit uh, surprised. Ah, how is it to drive the Kia EV6 at 110? GPS speed kilometers per hour and it's quieter, it's nicer. The 130, there was wind noise that, that uh, wasn't too nice. Suspension is the same, it's very comfortable, steering is the same. Um, I have the same complaints, uh, but it's quieter, I like that. So I can hear the podcast a bit better, it's not so much noise around me. I like the new electric adjustable steering wheel, I, I enjoy that, I have to say. Um, that should be in every car, <laughs> totally has to. Um, I calculated, so I'm not taking 365 kilometers of range that we just uh, had, 364. I'm expecting 380 because before also the range got higher at the end. So let's say 380, I want to use 
so arrive with 20% at the end so I have to drive around 266 kilometers so I know my exit and the whole drive will be 262 kilometers we're gonna do that we're gonna go off of Pilsting Porsche Macan is loud but I don't see too much acceleration <laughs> gigantic SUV. I'm sure it has four or five hundred horsepower. I just turned around, navigated back to the charger and I also reached 40%. That means I used 50% of the battery. I was at 186 kilometers driven. That's 372 kilometers of full range. The range is still going up. Consumption went down now to 228, which is good. Uh, car thinks I arrive with 10%. I doubt that. It's going to be way higher um, because I have 70 kilometers to go and I have 133 and it doesn't think I can arrive without charging. We're not, uh, it's going to be fine because we're driving slow. So as every other navigation, you're on the highway and it thinks you're driving 130 for the time and for the consumption. Sadly, that is... Uh, the way with a lot of navigation systems. I arrived with 21%, drove 260.3 kilometers. Google Maps says it's 262 kilometers, 221 watt hours per kilometer was my average consumption. So I calculated a bit, 262 kilometers driven, used 69% of the battery. I get to 379 kilometers of full range in these conditions. Again, I had to speed up and slow down a lot. I had to pass a lot of cars because it was busy. And then you, you know, you accelerate, you have to, you slow down because you're close to the car and then you accelerate to a bit faster so you can pass by and then you slow down again. So I'm guessing consumption will be a bit higher then. And in the beginning, the battery cooling was still on after charging, which also increased the consumption a bit. But other than that, it was a great drive. Climate didn't do anything except for the beginning, maybe the first half hour, the rest, I saw the climate is a zero percent that it used for the drive, so that's amazing. So electronics used more, I used the uh, seat ventilation a few times, it's a bit too cold for me, so I always turn it on and then uh, very fast I turn it back off. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below, and here on YouTube there's also channel membership, and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery, but that's it for me, thank you much for watching, have a great day and take care, bye!